Hello my amazing YT family, welcome back to Omas TV. I bring you premium baby ninja updates, lifestyle vlogs, other Obonga entertainment to we. If you're joining us for the first time, you're highly welcome. Please don't fail to tap on the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell icon, like this video, leave a comment and share if possible, okay? So guys, Ebuka got to interview Big Bella, okay? All what we've been waiting for. So just stick around to the end of this video so you get to find out everything she said, okay? Ebuka started off by asking Bella how she feels, knowing that she was close to winning but couldn't emerge the winner. That what went through her head that moment he called her name that she was evicted. Bella replied him saying she being on the show to that point was a blessing. That she didn't believe she was going to win the show, that she didn't even believe that she was going to emerge second run out of this season that she feels so blessed and happy to be on that stage on that day 72 that she didn't see that's coming at all that she's super blessed and excited Ebuka told her since she said she didn't believe she was going to win the show but what then was her intention why coming on the show that was the money the hundred million the goal or something else Bella said of course the hundred million was the goal that was her reason coming on the show but at some point she didn't believe she was going to win the show she knows how badly she wanted being on that stage on the 72 that she tried her best to make that come through and that she really needs the money she really needed that money for her business she has so many businesses she would love to invest the money in that that was the reason why she came on the people that show to win that hundred million but she's so super excited as well leaving the show the second runner up is quite not easy being the only level one housemate standing Luca said she said a lot of things in the house from the starting of the show to the end something like uh, that she does not she's not yet to make friends and all that that when she leaves the house she's not going to care about anybody Ebuka asked her why wasn't she open to friendship in the house Bella replied saying on a normal day that she's not a friendly person that she likes being on her own she likes staying in her own space that her only friends are family members they hang out together they do things together she eats with them together they do everything together that she's not used to any outside that she doesn't have friends she has just two or three friends that she knows it sounds weird but that's her lifestyle guys that she's not a friendly person that she still tried her best she mingled with some few persons jumsy and eluswag she made friends on the show Ebuka asked her about doing what she thinks about doing she said doing was interested in shakes that their first sec to second week in big brother ninja house they were always discussing and doing told her and other housemates that she had interest in shakes so that just really put that off okay so doing we actually had interest in shakes remember this caused a little issue between bella and shakes while in the house moving over to the next question because asked her, what do you think about shakes like when you first saw him what did you think about him and at what point did you start falling in love with this guy bella said oh the very first day she stepped into the house that she was the first housemate to enter the house and shakes was the last housemate to enter the house that you just got connected that very first day that we watching the show will feel that ah this person is too fast forward this person is too quick to accepting proposals and all that but it's not like that that a day in big house is just like a year that a day you can ask someone out the person can accept and you guys can just start something that very day that we viewers should just be like ah this person just now ah and wow stuff's like that but it's not like that with them on the show that a day is enough for you to know someone and accept the person's proposal so the very first day she and she has got connected when she saw she she was like ah this guy is cute and all that so from that very first they to the day shares got evicted they got connected and really close and got into a relationship guys look at all that viewers said she wasn't really interactive on the show it was when Shex left she started mingling with other housemates that she wasn't when she, while Shex was around she wasn't really interactive she wasn't seen close to other housemates that does bella feel her relationship with Shex kept her away from other housemates bella said no not at all that like she said earlier on she's not a friendly person that even while getting on the show she told herself oh, my one big issue i will have is interacting with people i'm not a friendly person i just like being in my own space i'm just so uptight i'm not used to anyone as my family members i do everything with them i don't keep friends i don't make friends that that really affected her while in the house but she doesn't think her relationship with she kept her away from 
other housemates because left for her you know she will still be in her own space so that's it basically guys the guy went on asking her that why is it that when on the show she and Shex were always breaking up this moment they'll break up this one will tell this one i'm tired don't come close to me get out this that and the next 10 minutes they're back together now why was it that way bella told him that there's no relationship that is perfect in this life okay that she and Shex they have their good moments and bad moments as well and it happens in all relationship most times you have your ups and downs doesn't mean people don't love each other that they love each other so much and respect each other a lot and that whatever happened on the show whatever we viewers watched was bound to happen everything that happened in their relationship was bound to happen as no relationship is perfect that was really a perfect reply because it was expecting something else i guess so bella gave it to him at this point bella is supporting her boo so guys moving over to the next question Ibuka told her that when she looks back at her day in biggie's house the 10 weeks she stayed in biggie's house and what did she learn bella went ahead to say she learned how okay emotional intelligence patient and accommodating people that those are the three things she learned she learned how to be very patient that if you're on the show like in biggie's house omo you have to be patient if you're not patient you can't remain in that house because so many people will be stepping on your toes but you just have to just ignore and just overlook some things if not when you fight and put yourself in trouble so she does learn how to patient don't like her she doesn't take no sense if you give to her she'll give you in double food so guys that that was what she learned in biggie's house so ebuka asked her so now that you are out of the house what will you be doing what are you up to bella big bella said she has so many businesses she would love to invest in that she found out on the show that ah, she can be a good actress that she will consider acting modeling and she has so many business she would love to invest in her clothing brand is coming up and all that so bella has good aspirations i trust big bella she will do something it will get the carry last night. i trust bella she's going to use her fame and do a lot achieve a lot okay Story Dogu Bankole said, I pray for Bella Kaboe and Big Shares that the spirit of love locate them this minute. They shall become the best celebrity couple the world has ever seen. I silence every opposing tongue queen. And Jezebel trying to put their love asunder is done, so shall it be a men. No, anybody trying to separate Bella and Shex really goes fire. <laughs> Guys, they so are in love, there's no doubt, there's nothing anybody can do about it, okay? So we've come to the end of this video. If you watched up to this point, you were a darling. Thank you so much for always coming to watch my video. Guys, if at this point you haven't tapped on the subscribe button, please do that. Turn on your post notification bell icon as well so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Don't fail to like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know how you think about it. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.